So despite some disappointing performances in the month of February, Derby do find themselves now in automatic promotion places. Shall we take a look at the league table at the start of February, take a look at the predictions I made and see how the results actually transpired and what the league table looks like today. So what you can see right here is the league table from when I recorded my previous predictions video uh, for the month of February. As you can see, we had 29 games played with 56 points on the board heading into a game against Charlton Athletic. You can see that we're a point behind Bolton, two points, no, three points behind Portsmouth. And we were sort of in a bit of a muddle of, are we going to get into those automatic promotion places or are we going to fall away? Now, as we all know, we have now got ourselves into those automatic promotion places. But shall we take a look at each match? Take a look at my previous predictions and see if any of them actually came true. The month of February wasn't great, but make sure you hit that subscribe button to stick around for all my Derby County content, whether that be a pre-match preview or a post-match review or a match day vlog. Make sure you've hit that subscribe button and turned on that notification bell to stay in touch with all my latest content. So here are the opponents we faced through the month of February. We faced Charlton Athletic away and at home to start and finish the month. In between, we faced Shrewsbury Town, Exeter City and Stevenage with Barnsley away included in that as well. Now, it always looks like a bit of a tough period with having Stevenage and Barnsley and facing Charlton both times. Obviously, Charlton hired their new manager straight after our first game. So it was one of their months where things often looked like they could change. And it's not really been a great month for performances. Let's get into the predictions from my first, from the first game to the last game, and let's see where we ended up. So we went away to Charlton Athletic, and they were in a rut at that point in time. Realistically, they still are now at the end of the month, despite the result yesterday. But I predicted that we'd win 2 0 away. We fortunately came away with a 1 0 win. I believe this was. Mendes Lang uh, scoring after he took that big hit and suffered that injury to his foot. But like for me, I still go back to this game and you can look back, I think, at any game since the turn of the year and I don't actually think we've been that good. I, I just think it's a point of bad performances end up breeding bad results and I think that's the period that we're getting into right now towards the end of the month. Shall we now take a look at the next game, which was Shrewsbury. So we played Shrewsbury at home and this was a game which I felt like we needed to win and we only drew 1-1. I predicted a 3-2 win. It was a, it was a game which realistically... If I remember rightly, we was very sort of like in control of the game. It was a late goal which put us essentially on the back foot. And for me, that's happened a few times, especially this month. It's happened a few times recently. You look at Peterborough losing that game in the last minute. And it's very, very disappointing because we're in a very good position now. And it's results like this that come the end of the season, if we're third instead of second, this is a game that we're going to look at. And a 1-1 draw against Shrewsbury isn't the end of the world. At least you've picked up a point. But it was two points dropped that day for me. So let's take a look now into Exeter. Now, heading into this game, I did predict that we'd lose to Exeter. So realistically, at the moment, we're probably about where we should be based on the predictions I've made. But heading into this game, Exeter had come off the back of some really good results against Bolton, Pompey, Peterborough. So I felt like it was going to be a very, very difficult game. Now, fortunately, we came out 3-0 winners and it was again, I, I still don't think we played really well. Like, although we came away 3-0 winners, it was a, a it was another one of them games where we're hitting teams on transition and that's where our goals came from. And it for me. I don't know if you agree. You can let me know down in the comments. I just think since December has ended and we've come into the new year, I don't actually think we've been that good. And I haven't looked at the form table for um, from new year to now, but 
it wouldn't surprise me if our form puts us fifth, sixth, and that just isn't good enough for me. But this game, we did come away with a 3-0 win, so I'm obviously happy that my prediction was wrong. But you then have to look at the next few fixtures and you'll understand why that 3-0 win really was much needed. Now, obviously, Stevenage at home, I predicted a 0-0 draw. We all know Steve Evans' as football and it was heading that way until Mendes Lang, Corey Smith and Louis Sibley stepped up with an amazing bit of play to create a goal right at the death. And i tell you something, it was, again, performance-wise, I don't think we were very good, but it's them games where we came out with a win and it's those games where you go, well, that's a champion's win. But we then go and lose silly games like like um, Shrewsbury, we dropped points in that game. The recent games, which I'm going to talk about next with Barnsley and Charlton. And then it's like these champion style wins that we had, like back at Oxford in December, Stevenage in the final minutes. It then counts for nothing. And for me, it's just very, very disappointing when you head into the next game away at Barnsley and we go in the lead and we're all like we're in a really good position and we sit in and we defend, defend, defend instead of for me, our best form of defence is attack. If we've got the ball, if we're in their off, they're not gonna score. And that's just something which Derby don't seem to be doing at the minute. We seem to be trying to hold on to these one goal leads and we got beat at Barnsley, two one and I did predict a 1-0 win and it did look as if we was in the balance for a 1-0 win until uh, I think his name's Adam Phillips. Um, I know his last name's Phillips. I believe it's Adam Phillips. Stepped up in the first half with a really good volley uh, from the edge of the box. For me, people didn't close down enough and that's unacceptable. Um, you head the ball out like that. You've got to get straight out to make sure he can't get the shot off or you at least get a deflection on it. Give him a corner at least sort of thing. Um but yeah, and then in the second half, I believe it was Phillips again who got ahead of uh, Erin Cashin, scored a, a header from a set piece and that's something which Derby is supposed to pride themselves on and disappointingly, that's what cost us the game. Now, obviously, the result from last night, well, it won't be last night when you're watching this, but it was Tuesday night, I'm recording this on Wednesday. Shambles really 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 disappointing I believe heading into this game Charlton hadn't won in something like 22 games um yeah they've picked up some good results recently uh I believe they picked up a draw against Portsmouth and Bolton but like at the end of the day we've come away with nothing at home and for me that's going to be our biggest problem this season our home form seems to have been terrible in the grand scheme of things and I'm very, very disappointed. I did expect a 1-1 draw um, because when you played someone at the start of the month and you play them at the end of the month, you, like not much changes in between. So I predicted a 1-1 draw. Charlton and Nathan Jones come away from this one much happier than us Derby fans do. But obviously, we should probably take a look at the league table because it's not as bad as it looks, but it obviously could be a lot better. So as you can see, here is the league table. We've picked up 10 points in the month of February. Bolton, 9. Barnsley have stormed their way up to 4th place. Peterborough have dropped down to 5th. Like They've picked up, what, 3, 4 points, I think. So I think we were level with them going into this period of games. Um, and Stevenage down there in 6th place. Now... We've lost so much ground on Pompey, but for me, I'm not bothered whether we go up first or second. Obviously, I don't particularly want the playoffs. I think getting into the playoffs would be very, very disappointing considering where we are. But obviously, there's a, still 12 games, no, 11 games for us to go. It's a 46-game season, so we've just got to start putting wins on the board again and I am very, very disappointed in recent results because we went ahead in both games and if we'd have won both games right now, we'd be sitting one point behind Portsmouth and that makes the whole league table look completely different. We'd be six points clear of Bolton, we'd be one point behind Portsmouth and 
obviously we've dropped the opportunity so obviously let me know your thoughts about derby's month of february down in the comments let me know what you think heading into the month of march are they going to be able to pick it up or is it going to be another shambolic month are we going to drop back down into the playoffs or are we going to be able to keep ourselves in that automatic promotion race well, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you've checked out my preview for the game tomorrow down in the description. It'll have been linked on screen at some point during the game too. So make sure you go and check that out so you're up to date with all the latest news and Derby content. And make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next video. Make sure to go and find me on TikTok pictured here and Twitter pictured here. These are the places where I'll keep you all up to date with all my upcoming videos and my thoughts and feelings around the Formula One and football weekend.